So tell me, you happy with your lot in life? Well, ain't that a shame. Still, there's only one person who can fix that. And that's you. No one's gonna come to the rescue. It's your life to live. And to change. Not to get too preachy, though I suppose I kinda did. But hear me out, just a little longer. But he didn't. I got there just in time to see the light leave my father's eyes. He was a cop, riot police, a decorated officer who had been tasked with taking down a notorious biker gang, the Crusaders. I doubt he had any idea I might turn out like this when he left for work that morning. I looked up to him. He was my hero. He sacrificed so much. And then... Okay, everyone. We have some new friends joining us today. Go on and introduce yourself to the others. And this is his little sister, Cowdy. Now, I want you all to do everything to make them feel welcome, okay? Yes, miss! What was that, Watanabe? Uh, yes, miss! It was around the time Cowdy and I were sent to Bright Sparks Orphanage that I first noticed I was... different. That I'd begun to develop some strange powers. I found that I could read people's minds, and even make things move without touching them. It was as easy as pushing a button, and just like that, I could hear their inner thoughts, loud and clear. Yeah, just like that. So tell me, if you had the power to read people's minds, how would you use it? As for me, well...
think I'd meet the quota, but this kid ought to do the trick. Screw you and your quota. I'm not going anywhere with you losers. What did you say to me? Kids? Goddamn kids? Since when did the Crusaders start snatching kids? Who the hell are you? Who am I? Isn't it obvious? I'm a local businessman! Thanks, man. I owe you one. You better watch your back, kid. Those punks have been acting weird lately. More like stupid. Trying to snatch an orphan. No one's gonna pay my ransom. Uh, how's your sis doing? Kari? She's cool. She's... Ugh, my head. Took a hit, huh? Come on, saddle up. I'll give you a lift. Thanks, Matsu. But seriously, why do you think those guys came after me? Involved. I knew it. Disappearing all those folks. This proves it.
Stay out of the gang for me. Wait, Matsu. Why not come inside? Say hi yourself. You're already here. Peace. Isn't a big deal? Dear, dear, your shirt's wrong too. Take it off, right now. I'm not a little kid. There we go, all done. Oh, it feels like the more laundry I get through, the more laundry there is to do. National Wrestling Showdown! And boy, do we have a matchup for you today! In the red corner, Miss Sour the Menacing! And in the blue corner, Muta the Merciless! The time has finally come to witness these two legends of the ring throw down! Prepare yourselves for the unprecedented, a no holds barred, no round limit fight to the finish! And there's the gong signaling the beginning of this legendary bout. And that's the end of that round. But neither of these two warriors is showing any sign of slowing down. And that's the end of that round. But neither of these two warriors is showing any sign of slowing down. And that's the end of... 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 And that's the and that's the end and that's the end and that's the end and that's the end of that run and that's the end of that and that around Tycho's room for something to patch me up, would you? But I'll miss wrestling! Oh, why me? Oh my god! Misawa is just so cool! Uh, hey! That's my seat!
cut it. I'll be watching TV, so bring back whatever you find when you find it. And that's the end of that round! But neither of these two warriors is showing any sign of slowing down. Come on, Misawa! Give him the corkscrew elbow! Not cool, Yuki! He's still hurting! Huh? I barely touched him. out. You know, the old dude who runs the antique shop? Wait here. I'll go and see what he has to say. Even if your body dies, your heart won't, will it? I know it won't.
rules next time. Cut on my hand again. Oh, if it isn't the orphan boy. Pleasure as always. Hands. Wash your damn hands.
What are you doing? Get down from there immediately! Hey kid, mind giving me a hand here? Business could be better. How much for one? You've got to be joking! What are you playing at? You gotta tweak the price to match the customer, not just wing it. Shut up already! 
Who's a badass? Tobey's on the way. I'm pretty sure he's got a plan. Hi, everybody! Sorry I'm late. Troubled with the matter transmitter. Too much quantum. Uh, or too little. In any event, I opted for a less scientific means of locomotion. I walked. Allow me to examine this alien amphibian and reptile of yours. Great Scott! Little Toraimo is on his last legs! Liquefaction is our only recourse. Fortunately, I came prepared. This machine will serve as a host for his liquefacted essence. Taroimo will live again through the power of science. You're turning the turtle into a robot? Indeed. I'll just affix these electrodes to his body. Be a dear and plug this power cable in. Uh, okay. I'm sure there's a socket here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Give me a sec.
I got you. this time. this time.
busted. But don't worry, I got it. Taiko's dirty little secret. I said pocket money, not pocket lint. Get back in there and try again. No need to be a jerk about it. work again. Am I right? Honestly, grow up!
What's up now? that. anymore, our only other option is to rely upon the liquefacted human operator. Ah, but what is a liquefacted human, you ask? It is one who has transcended their physical form that they might unlock their latent psychokinetic potential. As such, there are only two ways we are going to get the steel titan here moving again either by finding a sufficiently powerful wielder of psychokinesis, an unlikely prospect, or by infusing the Colossus with the liquefacted essence of a human being. If you need someone with superpowers, then I'm your man. What's the boy? You think you've got what it takes to command it? Hell yeah. In that case, I'll be waiting for you upstairs. Hurry now!
Now listen carefully. First, you must go and touch my pink elephant. Then, after that, you must read a passage from that book over there. Next, you must describe my syrophone and afterwards lay your hands upon the blue mask. Finally, you must return to the basement and offer up a prayer to the Steel Titan. When you've finished, scrub your hands thoroughly, head into the washroom and crouch over the toilet. Titan, King Robot of all robots. Praise be to your uh, mechanicalness.
Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll. Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. Okay, still tighten. Let's whoop. No good, huh? Anything interesting, you make sure to bring it straight to me. For inspiration can be found even in the banal and the nonsensical. Yes, my boy. Got something for you. Oh, I see.